we complete our little tour of this problem where a pipe feeds a turbine uh, with water flowing between two reservoirs, two tanks, by trying to plot the pressure distribution along the pipe. And we want to do this not in a quantitative way where we would have very precise uh, values and positions of the curve, but we want to do this just in a qualitative way, meaning we want to see the basic shape of the curve, um, but not worry too much about plotting it precisely. We want to do this in two steps. The first step will be imagining that the turbine here is shut off and there is a valve which prevents the water from flowing. And we'll plot the pressure distribution in this pipe in a static case. And then we'll open the, the valve and let the power, let the water flow and let the turbine extract power and we'll plot the new curve uh, that applies in this case. So let's start with a hydrostatic case. We start at this point here at the entrance of the pipe here and at this point here, we are already 51 meters below the surface of the water. So the pressure is five bars more than the atmospheric pressure. The pressure here in the pipe will be relatively high. So this is at the entrance. The water is not flowing. And so as we go along the pipe here, we just swim horizontally. The pressure will not change. We just have a straight curve here until the first bend. As we now go up, the pressure will drop. Or the pressure will decrease because our altitude decreases. And so we see a little dump here in the pressure. And then we go horizontally again so that the pressure remains constant here with respect to length. And then now we go down so the pressure will increase. It will increase by approximately three bars. So the pressure will jump again here like so. And then again, we, are straight, uh, we have a straight pipe here, a straight horizontal pipe. And so we have a straight line like so. When we arrive at the turbine, on one side of the valve, we have this pressure here. And on the other side of the valve, we have only this four meters altitude, so that the pressure on the other side of the turbine here is very low. And this difference in pressure here that we have, this is the hydrostatic pressure difference. This is the basic fundamental pressure difference that is available for the turbine to run. Now, if we now remove the valve and the water is now flowing, so let me perhaps label this curve here. This is here with no flow. Let me now remove the valve. Let me, let me erase this valve that we have here and let the water flow. As the water flows, uh, the pressure drop that's available to the turbine will become less. This is because pressure losses occur inside the pipe and they occur at the bends, but they also occur all along the length as friction applies to the pipe. So I draw a second curve, which starts at the same point because we are here again at 51 meters below the surface. But now, as I go along the pipe, my pressure will decrease. It will decrease progressively and linearly with distance. Let me perhaps make a better case here that doesn't match the second curve here. It will decrease progressively and arrive maybe at this point here. Then we will go down again inside the pipe. And then at this point here, instead of a horizontal line, I again have a line that's parallel like so. And then I jump up by the same amount here. So I jump up by the same amount. Let me try to have this height uh, being approximately the same, like so. And then again here, I decrease the pressure along the, the length. The slope of these three segments here should be the same. And I arrive here at a lower pressure um, so that now the delta P that I have available to the turbine, this is here, this is delta P turbine, it is less than before. And this delta P that I have here, this here, this is the delta P due to the friction losses plus the delta P due to the bends over here. Note that uh, I greatly exaggerated the losses here. If you remember maybe from uh, the previous calculations, we had here the total here, the total delta available, the hydrostatic pressure difference was about seven bars. And we lost about, um, less or we lost about one bar of pressure due to friction over here so this delta should be much smaller i exaggerated the trend here so it becomes much more visible so this would be here uh, the pressure drop here with flow or the pressure distribution with flow and this is how you plot the pressure uh, distribution in a qualitative way uh, inside a given pipe uh, where water flow is happening and the pressure 
drops across the two sides of the turbine to extract power.